welcome to another video tutorial on Xero. My name is Samuel Baermeister. I'm the owner here at Tallbooks. Today I'm going to take you through entering in a bill in Xero. The reason I'm making this video is this is a common request and everyone has bills they need to enter from their suppliers or places they've purchased things from. So I'll take you through it here in the demo company today. A few things to go through firstly. On this dashboard here, there are two ways that you can easily get to the purchases section. Once you've entered in a bill, if you scroll down, you'll see here on the right hand side bills you need to pay. And you can see the different statuses. So draft, approved bills will show as awaiting payment and any that have gone past their due date will show as overdue. You get a little graph here which shows you that information over this date range here for you. So you can click here to add a new bill. You can click into one of these links to go to the purchases screen or what we'll do is you go to accounts and purchases. So once you're in the purchases section, this is where you can create a new bill. So when would you use a bill versus just coding it directly to an expense on the bank reconciliation screen? The most common um, example of when to enter a bill is when you've received a supplier invoice yourself. So if it's something like petrol or a quick purchase, um, on the credit card that's minor, there's not much point in entering a bill, you just keep the receipt and attach it. In the case of you purchasing something on credit or a large purchase where an invoice is provided, these are typical examples of where you'd want to enter in a bill. Also, GST legislation wise, anything over $75 excluding GST or 82.50 including needs to have a tax invoice for you to claim it. So if you make that your basic rule, anything over 8250, make sure you've got a tax invoice and you can enter it in zero to make it easier. So let's enter one in. Click new here. And another easy way you can do this is click the plus and bill. So once we're on the bill screen, like all the screens in zero, you work from top to bottom, left to right. So before I start filling this in, I've got a PDF copy on my computer that I've downloaded of a bill. And we're going to pretend this is a bill that I've received that I need to enter in. So clicking on the image icon here, you can then choose to either add it from your file library or upload a file. Adding from the file library simply allows you to add a file you've already uploaded into Xero that is sitting in the file library. I have a separate video tutorial on the file library, which is called um, Storing Files Online Go Paperless with Xero. Make sure you check that out for more information if you haven't watched it already. Today, we're just going to upload one directly. So click Upload. I'm going to grab one from my desktop. Now, once that's uploaded, you can click on the bill and click the diagonal arrow, and it will actually pop that bill to the side for you. So you can copy paste it in to zero. So we'll start with the name of the supplier, trendy accounts, the date they issued me the invoice and the date it's due. The reference is where you enter in the supplier's invoice number. This is really handy because if you've entered your reference in already, and you go to enter the same bill in, Xero will notify you the bill already exists and avoid double entry. In the total, make sure you write that off the bill information. So the balance 495, and then you can leave a description. So I normally leave the detail on the bill itself and summarize it in Xero. If you need further detail, you can simply click on the image and view it. So we're gonna say accounting charges, quantity is 4.5 at 110 it says it includes GST. So we'll have to make that tax inclusive and we'll put it to our consulting and accounting account. So as you can see, 4.5 by the 110 has brought us to our total. These match our GST amount matches the bill. We've got the right dates and the right invoice number. We're good to approve that bill now and it will sit in the history. So you'll see it there in awaiting payment, both from the dashboard and the purchases section.
So if we go accounts and purchases now, this will most likely show as overdue as we entered it with quite an old date, but you'll get the point. So you can see that trendy accounts shows us when it was due and the total amount. You'll also see that we have an image here. So that's how you enter a bill into Zero. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you got something out of this video. Thanks for your time.